Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Football Manager Road to Glory save here with York City, the save where we take York uh, from the Vanarama Conference North all the way to the Premier League and beyond. In today's episode uh, we've got games coming up for you in the Premier League against Man United uh, and Chelsea uh, respectively. Tough games those ones coming up. Um, if you are new to the channel um, please um, hit the uh, like button down below just down there and a subscribe uh, if you're new would really really help me out. Uh, just sit back relax uh, and enjoy uh, the episode. Many thanks. So you can see from the uh, the schedule screen here everyone um, you last left us at the Bournemouth game uh, in the league there. Uh, we then went on to win uh, against Watford which was a really really excellent result. I mean we really really needed uh, that result there because the game's coming up um, or the, in the next month or so are really, really incredibly tough. I'd be surprised uh, if we get anything uh, from that. So Svek uh, scoring from a corner kick. He is dangerous uh, from those. Uh, Jenks with an absolute banger uh, from the edge of the area. Um, and uh, Maggi um, flicking it down. Balak, Balak, uh, Boris Balak uh, scoring uh, for us there. So, um, yeah, that was a terrific... Uh, results. It really, really was. Since then, uh, the form has been a little, a little bit iffy. We've managed to uh, pick up a point uh, against uh, Tottenham uh, in the league, which was good. Yeah, we managed to pick up a point uh, against Tottenham uh, in the league, which was really, really excellent, really good indeed. And and the league form, in fairness, it doesn't look great on the form sheet here, but uh, it hasn't actually been that bad. I mean, we did lose. Uh, 4-2 against um, Aston Villa. They were just too strong for us, uh, Villa were. Against Everton, it was a really tremendous uh, result. Mayong uh, with two goals there. Leicester, uh, another really, really good result uh, in the league. Uh, Mayong um, it proving to be really, really good uh, from corners, corner pieces. Um, against Man City, this one was a tough one uh, to take. It really, really was. 8-1. Uh, that one was, and I thought, uh-oh, at that stage, I kind of thought, um, have our heads gone? Uh, have we completely lost um, the plot here? But no, 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 um, we fought back. Liverpool, we lost only only 2-1, uh, which is good, all, con all things considering. Uh, and then against um, Newcastle here, it was quite a remarkable uh, result, this one. 5-0 uh, to York. Let's just take a look. I haven't um, fully switched up to the uh, the back attack tactic. I, I just don't think we've got enough um, uh, players familiar with that uh, with their position uh, to play it yet. Remember, we've been building uh, for this uh, shadow striker tactic uh, ever since the conference, really. Um, so we've not got the personnel, uh, I don't think, to uh, uh, to cover that. Some really excellent goals here. Gwynchard there with a, a tremendous thunderbolt. Mayong again from a corner kick. Told you he was good. Uh, with those mills uh, scoring a penalty um, so just excellent excellent stuff uh, that result was so that was much much needed because uh, today's games are against uh, Man United uh, and Chelsea uh, in the league if we just take a look at the league table here um, we're on um, 19 points um, 19 out of 19 basically uh, which is the ratio which I was looking for I think if you um, manage to get you know the same points as you've had games you should uh, be all right um, should be better uh, than the teams below and there is a nice gap uh, between ourselves uh, and Burnley now who, who we beat uh, earlier in the season so let's progress uh, with the game itself, let's uh, have a look, see if we can get anything uh, from the next two games. So oh, here we are then everybody, day of the game itself, Manchester United versus York. It's at Old Trafford this one, so I really, really don't think uh, we're going to get anything from uh, this at all. In fact, I'd be pleased if we don't get completely uh, annihilated uh, for, for this match. So we're going with uh, Maggi up top. Uh, Toth over on the left, Mills in Shadow Striker, uh, Kovac, uh, Gwynchar, Jenks, uh, Divine, Mayong, Svek, uh, Madden and Gibb. Uh, let's progress uh, to the game. So here we are then at the team talk, uh, hand over to the assistant, that will do, sister assistant, send the assistant to do the uh, tunnel interviews, I don't know why they're coming up uh, all of a sudden, I thought I'd set it uh, to not have to do it. Maggi with a with, oh Mills Mills scores <laughs> wouldn't oh that's disallowed that is such uh, a shame oh has it been disallowed yes it has uh, VAR uh, disallowed 
uh, that goal for us there. So, yeah, apologies for, for my voice and a uh, little bit sort of uh, uh, blocked up, etc. I've been, my allergies uh, have been absolutely killing me today. It's a mixture of hay fever, sinuses uh, and other allergies, I think, that's going on. Uh, Rashford smashing into the back of the net and for some reason today uh, it's just been really really uh, affecting me so so badly uh, at the moment. It's also quite warm I think for a September day, very sunny uh, out so I've closed all the curtains <laughs> living like a, a hermit in my room. Rashford uh, slipping it past Gibb there uh, in the net. Um, in positive news uh, the board uh, have actually done something nice for me for once rather than simply refusing. Rashford with the ball over the top and in the back of the net there. Yep, looks like we're going to get annihilated uh, again. Looks like uh, it was um, how it was against um, uh, against Man City. Yeah, so the board um, have actually um, given me permission. Uh, in fact, I am going to change the back attack tactic here. Uh, not yet, we'll change at half time. Uh, why not? Um, yeah, the board have actually um, given me increased um, increased transfer budget. Uh, for the January, so we've got an extra twenty million pound uh, war chest uh, to play with in the January, um, which is tremendous news. It means we can go after, maybe can go after some of our targets like Boxall and maybe West uh, as well. Uh, there's also Miggins who I'm after. I think he's a tremendous defender, uh, Miggins. I showed you him last season, I think it was. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're going to be absolutely destroyed here uh, at Old Trafford. Dembele, Gib, good save there by Gib. I'm going to go to Cautious. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, luckily we are picking up results elsewhere other than the, the big boys and even the middle level Prem teams because otherwise we would be in real, real troubles, uh, I think. I thought that was in from Mills there. We do like those, uh, those throw ins and the corner kicks. We are pretty decent uh, from those. Our return this season. Uh, on those in terms of goals scored uh, has been pretty good. Wan Bissaka saved by Gibb there. So yeah, I mean, I mean, we are into the save, but we're not far enough in where all the um, all the players like Rashford there, uh, where all the players um, are, you know, too old to be effective. It's it, we're only five years into the save uh, at the moment, uh, and we have got an extremely young side. I mean. I think the maximum age in our actual first team uh, is 22. Uh, and part of me wonders whether it might be worth getting some old heads uh, around. But that, that was never the, the point of the save. The point of the save um, was to show you uh, how I do my scouting, how I develop uh, wonder kids and youngsters. Um, and how... Oh, yeah, we were going to change the back attack too late now. We'll do that next game. Um, and how, you know, uh, the whole scouting, the whole conveyor belt... Uh, a talent thing works and I think we're on course uh, for that you know so I don't think it's all that bad it's not all doom and gloom we are going to get annihilated here by Man United of course uh, I'd be very surprised if this wasn't 6 or 7 uh, nil uh, let's go defensive I don't normally like going defensive but I think you know if, when you're getting annihilated in fact let's do opposition instructions ask assistant to do those should have done that uh, earlier on Normally I don't mess around with those either. Normally I, I just plough through the games. But really, realistically, you, you've got to do things to try and stop getting completely uh, played off the park. Because uh, it is bad for morale, uh, you know, to lose week in, week out. Not that we have been. It's a penalty there, unfortunately. Review a decision. Halland. Of course they've got Halland. Why not? They've got Rashford. They've got everybody else by the looks of things they got that Chris kid who they're not even playing uh, at the moment can't believe they're not further uh, up the league than they are Man United uh, Man City who annihilated us in the cup 8-0 um, 8-1 it was uh, at top of the league at the moment let's go to the let's uh, did, uh, wait for this throw in Beast Divine taking the throw in there Mills Guinchard there are things that I like about this team but our resilience, I think it is the tactic, you know. I, I can't blame the players. And the fact that we are brand new. Most of them are brand new, you know, don't speak the language. Madden. Yeah, let's go to tactics. Let's go to the back attack, see how it does. Um, it's not normally advisable to change tactics in the middle uh, of a match like this. 
um, normally like if you're going to do it um, have it prepared um, and go from there and um, no we don't want that what I want is Durand stop it game go back what I want is Durand left wing back I think and then we'll confirm the changes and play yeah so I mean the, the funnily enough by the way the game we won against Villa um, and one of the ones we won uh, was another one we did actually use the back attack uh, tactic and it looked really really good I've been uh, experimenting with it uh, with walls a private sort of test save uh, that I did with walls and I know walls are kind of built um, for a uh, with a half back sort of in mind uh, but they are it really is like it's super super good and I've seen it in other people's saves um, work really really well so maybe we should start building uh, with this in mind for the future uh, you know for future saves because uh, I think it is good like even just there um, we managed to uh, limit it to only four uh, nil so dear oh dear oh dear I'm not gonna uh, mess around with that uh, so let's go on now it doesn't get any easier we've got another game coming up uh, against Chelsea uh, but after that we've got a, a stretch a string uh, a row of uh, better games uh, to look forward to I think oh I just wanted to show you guys something before the uh, Chelsea game itself look look at my manager here I don't know if this is a bug I think this is a bug uh, I've seen it sort of uh, uh, seen people talk about it uh, before on, on like uh, Twitter and stuff uh, look at my level of discipline uh, 22 uh, out of 20 uh, so yeah the players uh, better watch out there they better be on their best uh, behavior that's all I'm saying so let's uh, let's head to the uh, uh, to the day of the game uh, itself so here we are then day of the game itself Chelsea versus York that uh, took ages to get to because the transfer window uh, is just opened and um, some of the players were kicking up a bit of a fuss uh, which I just sorted out and um, some players will be going uh, in the January uh, so you can see what I mean about this tactic by the way it's really good but we just don't have the personnel in the right positions uh, for it currently uh, we may be looking to do something about that uh, in the January because we do have that 20 million pound to spend but I just want to see um, how it how it goes you know how effective it is uh, against the big boys here so uh, let's uh, let's go to the game itself fingers crossed uh, the change of tactic might do us some good I have seen it uh, do that before sort of trick the AI uh, as such into um, into uh, like losing uh, the game against you so there we go Mills with a tackle Kovac picks up on the right hand side Kovac through to Mills Mills with a shot already a very good start uh, against Chelsea here I'd be lovely if we could get something from this game and Un unexpected certainly uh, but very very good indeed this is like a, a three a free sort of hit uh, if you like any result at all against the uh, the big teams um, is uh, it's just basically three points for us <clears throat> close down there good closing it is fast but I'm, I'm keeping it on fast because we I am planning to do two episodes uh, a C S an ep two say <laughs> two games uh, an episode is what I'm looking into. I think that's a penalty there. No, nope. oh yep, given. Come on, Gib, save the penalty, mate. He's been okay, Gib. I thought he would be a uh, oh no, I thought he would be a um, a weak spot in our in our side, but he's actually done all right. Um, and, and as have uh, the defenders, really. To be fair to them, I mean, I know we got annihilated just then against Manchester United. That was not. Uh, pleasant viewing at all that's why I decided just to change up just to see uh, you know if we could do anything uh, about it already it's looking better here's Toth we know he likes to score and score he does Richard Toth I should play you week in and week out mate I am sorry uh, that I haven't you are in the first team from here on in well done that man Richard Toth scoring uh, his uh, eighth goal uh, of the season pretty good uh, for a player new to the league he's uh, an 18 year old I think we'll take a look at him uh, at half time ah oh, that is a uh, very good stuff indeed Pellegrini oh they've got Tonali uh, as well Ampadu goodness me these teams around us in the Prem like I was saying earlier it's not as if we're so far in the future that the real players uh, have ceased to exist they're still uh, around and uh, this Chelsea team 
uh, in their prime. They're not ancient. They're 24, 25, 26. Uh, most of these players now. Toth. Can he get another one? Ah, oh, Toth. Uh, can't can't apply the finish there. Yeah, so it's it's, it's really hard this save. I mean, it's the hardest thing uh, that I think that I've ever done or tried to do uh, on Football Manager is keep a team like this in the league. Maggi, oh Maggi, you should have had that, mate. This is what I mean about Maggi. He sometimes does magical magic. Maggi, he sometimes does magical magical things. And then most of the time he's actually quite disappointing, but he is very, very young. He can only improve and his valuation uh, is through the roof. Um, I think it's because he's a, an international, you know, uh, at his age. Gonna pause, gonna have a sneeze, bear with me a sec. So apologies for that there. Yeah, I was talking about Maggi. I don't know if Maggi is going to be, you know, our forever striker, our striker for the foreseeable uh, in this save. I think we're gonna cash in. Uh, on him, that's the plan, uh, and then reinvest. I prefer uh, to have English or British youngsters, uh, but obviously I, I know, and you know, uh, you've played the game enough to know that they come at a massive premium. So if we can get 40 or 50 mil uh, for um, Maggi, which is not beyond the realms of impossibility, certainly, uh, if we can get that kind of money for him, here he is now, speak of the devil. Um, oh, that was good play by him, actually. To Maury, but uh, fouled him. Uh, Mills, ah, oh, Bad Bad Belgic uh, saves the penalty there. That is uh, a shame because that would have uh, put us in the lead to half time. We are good from those set pieces though as well. Maggi, Guinchard, Mayong, lovely stuff from York. I'm really really pleased with that. And um, with the new back attack tactic, we have not uh, looked um, out of uh, out of place at all. Even though our players. Uh, aren't familiar uh, with the uh, with the tactic yet, or aren't quite familiar uh, with the tactic yet, uh, and um, don't have the positions in the tactic. We, it's it's something to build on. There's Tenali. So Hudson Adoy nodded it down, and I think Tenali, uh, no, Jorginho uh, scored there. Uh, so Malcolm over the top to Tenali. Uh, a bit of a mess in the box, uh, and Jorginho profits. Uh, from that, it's, it, I'm just happy uh, that we're not being completely destroyed uh, by Chelsea here. It would be nice to get a point, <laughs> but maybe that's wishful, uh, wishful thinking. I'm going to take Magic, Magic off. Um, bu, 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 bu. Ross has come back. He's uh, not fully match fit, um, and he's not had a run. He had another knock, by the way, after he came back from that two month uh, time that he was off. So it might be. Uh, time um, to move on from Ross. I don't. I don't think I'm going to try and renew uh, his loan. So I don't think I'm going to try and renew Maggi's loan. Sorry about this. If it is stop start a bit stop starty this game, I am uh, in the middle of sneezing my head off and blowing my nose uh, all the time. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to renew his loan. In fact, I think we're going to abandon the whole uh, sort of long uh, loans um, situation. I don't like doing it, um, especially if you're in the top league. Um, you know, I, I think it sort of blocks your own prospects from coming through. But sometimes needs must, and we definitely needed it uh, in the championship. Our four lone shinings were keys uh, to us getting promoted. Ross closing down there. Already looks um, better in movement-wise than, uh, than Maggi did. Pellegrini. Goodness me. Pellegrini charging down the left uh, left back position. Madden tries to close him away from Hay uh, there. So, um, yeah, we're still not getting absolutely destroyed here, which is good. We are recording. Yes, we are. Still not getting absolutely destroyed here, uh, which is good. I'm going to play Singuline, uh, deep line playmaker, swap these two uh, around here, I think. Uh, so you can see our, from from the, um, uh, the tactics screen there, you can totally see what I mean. Our players just aren't uh, used to those positions that are in these st in this tactic, and I think uh, in the January, uh, the January window has been opened. Uh, this morning it was uh, in game. Hey, and I think in the January, like I say, uh, I'm going to be looking around for players who suit the tactic a little bit more because I do like the look of it. And as I say, it had worked well on my test tactic and another people's saves uh, that I've seen really, really well. Um, so we will see Aaron's, Max Aaron's there. They must have nicked him off Norwich. Svek uh, away uh, from there. So goodness me, 
um, these teams are jam-packed uh, full of um, prospects and uh, international players, as you'd expect, of course, uh, from the top five teams in the Prem. But it just it really does show the kind of um, kind of thing we're up against here. Jovic with a shot there. So apologies for that. That we missed the uh, the end of the game um, due to a, another sneezing fit. We are recording now, so hopefully this won't look too bad uh, in the final edit. If it does, I'll just take this uh, this second game uh, out of the episode altogether. So let's uh, progress now uh, to the schedule screen and see where we'll be back to you uh, at for the next episode. So here we are then in the schedule screen. Um, just confirming those two losses there. Uh, that we had this episode. Um, you can see we've got double headers coming up against Wolves uh, in the uh, FA Cup and then in the league itself, sandwiched in between Arsenal, uh, where I don't expect us to get any points. Then uh, it does actually become a little bit easier. Newcastle, who are having a terrible season, uh, by the way. Sorry to all you Geordie fans. They are absolutely having a, a complete shocker. Um, uh, coming up, I, I think that's too soon. Newcastle, Palace and West Ham. Uh, so those are all targetable uh, for points there. I'd like to get at least six points from those games. Then Liverpool. I think uh, I'm going to come back to you at the Leicester uh, Everton uh, game. And that, uh, that episode should be out uh, on Monday uh, for you all. So there we have it, everybody. Two losses um, in this episode. Um, and uh, as I say, uh, the January transfer window to look forward to, uh, where we've actually got a bit of money uh, to spend for once. So uh, if you have enjoyed that episode, please leave a like down below. If you are new, please uh, subscribe uh, as well. And um, as I say, have a lovely weekend. Uh, and I'll see you all uh, on Monday for the next episode.